Hey designers, so in this video I'm going to show you how it is, easy it is to start using these Illustrator um, image brushes to create really amazing um, illustrations and designs and whatever you like for the holidays. So actually I had created these earlier but I didn't sell them as brushes before and this is one of my little secrets that really helps with my workflow and the Creative Couture membership is all about uh, showing you my secrets and, and helping you guys to evolve and to be able to create better and faster and easier using the technologies that we have. So Illustrator art brushes are a really good thing for that because, and I'll show you how, um, because it lets you uh, create an illustration once but then by turning it into a brush, you can use it so many different ways and you don't have to always keep drawing the same leaf again or the same branch and it can, it can speed up your workflow a lot. So in this product, I have all of the brushes that I use to create my green Christmas um, holiday illustration kit. So I've got a series of art brushes here that are all different sorts of kind of green Christmas inspired illustrations. There's leaves, there's holly, mistletoe, pine, all of that. So we've got these art brushes here and we're just going to give you a little bit of a tour. And then we have these pattern brushes, which are great for wreaths and borders and all kinds of things. We've got pattern brushes and at the end we have a few scatter brushes for the berries. So, um, that's the, the overview of what the kit contains. And in your file, you're going to have two folders, uh, two files. Um, in your folder, you'll have two files. One is just the brushes, and one is this one, which is the brushes on the artboard. And this is really handy if you want to, um, to quick pick your brush really fast and start creating, and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to shut this really fast, and then the other one, this is um, the two files you'll have in here. Brushes on artboard, you double click this, you've got all your brushes um, on separate, just like we saw here, and then here in your brush panel, you'll see all the different brushes. And if you don't see the brush panel, go to Windows and then go to Brushes. So that is that file. And then if you double click, this is the brushes only file, so it won't have any of the information on the artboards, but it'll have all the brushes. And say, for example, you already have a, a file that you want to use the brushes on. This is, for example, is like eight by eight inches and it's an artboard I've already set up. So say this is a card maybe or a social media graphic you want to do, but you want to load the brushes into this file. So all you have to do is go to your brush panel here, click the top right and click open brush library and then click other library and then find your product and um, in this case I'm gonna actually I just move this so I'm gonna find it here let's just uh, fashions we're gonna try to make this quick here uh, and you just navigate it to it ideally it would um, I would have had it already on my desktop here so I'm just going to go to brushes only, find that library that says brushes only, click open. And then now it'll pop up this library that I can use here in this document. And um, so now you'll have these, these brushes handy or whatever. But you can always just double click that, uh, this one, the brushes only to open, you know, to get your brushes. So, and I'll also link to another one, but... Basically, that's how you load up the Illustrator brushes. What I like to do um, personally is I like using something like this where I have all of these handy because then I can really see what brush that I, I can see better than on the brush panel what brush I want to use. So for example, I will go here to this one and I'm going to, uh, let's see, I've already got like, what? Uh, I'll click on this brush here. I'll touch this brush and then the next brush that I paint will be the same style. So I could click on this and then the next brush I paint will be that. So it's good. You can copy and paste and whatever, but that is how you load them. And then 
Let's go over here. So I've got my blank document and I'm just going to show you really quick kind of what you can do and the different um, the differences between the art brushes and the pattern brushes. And on here, these are art brushes and you might say, hey, this these look the same, but they're actually not. And I'll show you the difference between these two. And it's there's a reason why I create two different ones, even though they might look the same. The first one here, I'm going to make a brush of this. This will keep the brush proportional. So if I make a little stroke like this, it'll make it small. But if I make a bigger stroke, it's not going to stretch it. It's going to keep it proportional, which is good because um, it just depends on what you need it for. So that's good in some circumstances like that. But there's other circumstances where you might want to have the brush stretch to fit your thing, to fit your stroke length. So I'm, I'll show you the second one. It's like this, but if I make it really long, it's going to stretch that brush, which actually looks really cool. So it's just a different, um, just to give you an idea of the difference, I'm going to copy and paste this. And on the first one, this is the first brush option it um, scales the brush proportionally and it gives you a totally, it looks nice, but it gives you a totally different look. The second brush option is the one that stretches it. So it kind of hugs closer to the line and it just gives it a different look. And let's take another example here. I will do maybe this one. So this one you can see here, this is to scale it proportionally. And I'll go to the second one. And it's not a huge difference, but you can see it sticks more closely to the, the stroke and it's actually stretched that brush a little bit more. So it all just depends on what kind of effect you want. And I'll see if I have one more maybe that shows it a little more dramatically. Mm, let's see here. This one I'll put, this is actually like quite big, but you get, this is a little pine sort of thing. And then here is the one that stretches it. So it's not that huge of a difference, but sometimes it is. So it's good to have both options. And I created them for my own um, purposes because I knew I like, sometimes I want it to be proportional, but then sometimes I want it to stretch. Like that one stretched it. So it just gives you a totally different look. And these are just really great. What's great about these brushes is that, you know, you can create, these are brushes. I mean, you know, they're really pieces of illustration, but then it allows you to just to quickly take a brush, go like this, and you can make these really cool little Christmas sort of um, designs like this. And it's really your own. So you can use them for cards and you can use them on uh, mugs and physical items. But I already have the Christmas kit, which gives, you know, a lot of different illustrations. But by having the source brushes here, it just lets you do a lot more um, and have a lot more freedom because if you want a leaf going this way or this way, you don't have to, you can just paint it with a brush stroke like this rather than having to copy and paste those illustrations that I've already created for you. Or for example, let's take um, something like this one. Well, maybe you have, you want it in a shape that um, I don't have like that. It's gorgeous, but you know, obviously in my illustration kit, I don't have something like that. So you can make some really cool things with these brushes and just, you know, do them in any shape that you want. Okay, some of, sometimes they look like a little bit funny, especially the ones you see in this instance, I applied that brush where it scales it proportionally, well, it looks terrible. But if I take the brush that stretches, and I had done that, the second one, that's beautiful. And you can make some really cool designs and even letters, for example. Like what's awesome is um, something like this, actually the best ones, are the next brushes, which is the pattern brushes. And these ones are good because they repeat the design for the length of your stroke. So if you're not, and I'm gonna make that smaller, like 0.75 or even 0.5, then it looks better. But you see, these are just great for wreaths or you could even make like 
letters, um, trace some type and make some holiday monograms. Uh, there's just so many possibilities here and I'm just going to do something really loose. There's like an A for example, but you can make the base with, uh, with a pattern brush and then you can go with the art brushes and go decorate it a little bit and add some little flares and then you know make it really your own and then the scatter brushes are nice you can add some things but this is just very rough but it gives you an idea of what you can do and the pattern brushes are the ones that repeat along the line so go like this you've got some uh, different like kind of pine sort of things and you can make all different designs, all different shapes. You can make wreaths. And it's really cool because it gives you, um, you know, the power of creation. And it's not, and it's more like it's your own design. So you can just, and, and really, I know a lot of you create things for resale. So um, this is really good for that. You can create templates, use it on your templates or different things like this, even some social media graphics or whatever. So um, you've got your art brushes and then you've got your pattern brushes and then there's a few scatter brushes for the little red berries which kind of give it just a slightly different effect. The scattered makes it a little bit more random. So that just gives you an idea of what you can do. It's just that I'll probably add some more tutorials but it gives you a basic overview of what you can do with these brushes. And create by having the source brushes here, you can create so many different designs than just having the plain um, illustration, the ping formats. You know, it gives you a lot more creativity. You can type out a word and follow the word and create some, maybe some really cool lettering or uh, custom sort of phrases using this and um, I'll just show you some example here like if you wanted to make some letters and one of my favorite things to do is to uh, type out a type use some type as a guide and then go over it with this and then you know you can make some illustrated phrases and stuff for uh, for the holiday season. So you could write happy holidays um, and you know use these brushes for that kind of custom cool lettering. So if you have any questions you know you can put them in the comments below or send me a message and this is just a really quick overview of what you can do and this is for Illustrator CC. Uh, unfortunately um, image brushes are only available in Illustrator CC. So um, if you have any requests, comments, whatever, put them in the video below. And hopefully you guys will have a really um, good season and create some really cool designs for Christmas.